Hello again and welcome back to That London. We've just come in off the Grand Union main arm and we're going up the Paddington arm and it's not that attractive when you first come in to London. There's a bit of a shock to the system especially with the amount of rubbish and CRT have got notices up about um, how fly tipping and littering is spoiling the waterways but to be honest when you go up into the street there it's just the same up there it's mainly all industrial estate and shopping centers around here but it doesn't take very long before it starts to look a bit more interesting and a bit less um, what's the word I don't know it's just not very pretty around here is it but I've just seen a heron so there's obviously still fish in the canal that's always a good sign we love it in London. We're really looking forward to being here. Um, we'll be here for the next week. We've got ourselves five days booked at the Eco Moorings down at King's Cross. And we'll get there on Wednesday and it's Monday now. So we're just going to slowly find our way down there. The soccer battleship. Really nice. Oh, your boat. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah. It's quite steampunk, isn't it? Yeah. We were going to moor up around here, but we've decided to go on a bit further and maybe moor up outside the Black Horse instead. And apparently, if you're a patron, hopefully that just means you've got to have one drink, you can moor up there overnight. Um, yeah, it's, all, it's, it's okay here, it's all right, but it's quite hard on the edge. Go a bit further, I think. Once you're past Hayes and Southall, it starts to improve. The people are tending to more up offside here, which perhaps feels a bit safer thing is in London you basically moor up wherever you can that seems to be the thing nobody's moored up on the towpath side even an unexpectedly pretty wooden bridge although it's blocked off so it obviously doesn't go to and from anywhere carving some faces on it oh yeah there is there's a sort of a green man carved up there you can just see him horse mooring but in actual fact it looks like it might be a bit noisy there and there's a road bridge just up there so we're going to keep going on a little bit further out with the old and in with the new
one bedroom flats up there for 395,000 if you fancy one. Tuesday morning and apart from the really loud moor hens who woke us at the crack of dawn this morning this is a really nice spot to moor up in. We got strimmed first thing this morning so I'm just gonna go and get all the um, waste off the side of the boat and then we're going to go in a bit closer to our eco moorings that we're booked in from tomorrow. like a whole bit of bank has come away and floated across the canal here we can just squeeze through that's curious isn't it Oh, it's a floating, it's a floating island. It's come away from the wall on one side. It's supposed to be attached both sides. It's really nice, isn't it? It's just a bit in the way there. Getting in closer now. On this side is Kensal Rice and West Kilburn. You can't see it, lots of bushes. And on this side is Wormwood Scrubs and then North Kensington. Two addresses that you wouldn't normally think would go together. And we're going to be looking for mooring in the next mile or so. Good use of a hippo bag there makes a good cratch cover, not cratch, the opposite end, stern cover. Now we've got Kensal Green Cemetery behind us and plenty of boats moored up along here. And it's interesting coming into London like this because we're so used to coming up from Brighton to Victoria or London Bridge that it's like sneaking in through the back door here, sliding in all the way through London. It's getting a bit posher now as we come through Kensal Town. And Henry has cycled on up ahead and found a boat who's quite happy for us to breast up with them. I mean, you can just go and breast up with anyone here, but it's always nice to go ahead and ask, I think. A cool little row of houses here, right down to the canal, with lots of bars over the window so that boaters can't break in. <laughs> How fantastic is this boat? 
a little floating paradise. And the boat we were going to moor up with moved up a little bit so we were able to just squeeze in alongside and there's a community park running down the side here so it's a nice spot to stop at 14 days mooring here I think look at that not an inch to spare and just down the road is Portobello Market which is fantastic and it's not market day today so there's a bit more room but there's brilliant vintage shops and little secret courtyards and it's very pretty here getting out of this space is a bit tricky though missing the boat in front and now the back is stuck so Henry's pushing me off in the front okay I've missed it I think <laughs> I like that mooring spot, it was alright wasn't it? Quiet. It was quiet. However like you said there were a few others further up as well. Yeah. And now there's some here. Oh yeah. It's never as bad mooring in London as you think because you could literally just breast up to any of these boats over here. Nobody really minds. There's some sneaky little pontoons in there. Oh, one for sale. There's little spits of land all the way along the canal that people make full use of. There's a huge strip of mosaics garden here. I don't know if that's for one person or whether all of the houses behind use it, but it's amazing. Nice pub here too. And the other side of the pub with a nice waterside garden. Great place to moor. Great place to visit even if you're not on a boat. And that's the first time I've seen real turf on a roof rather than plastic. Much nicer. There is more mooring a bit further along. This was all empty yesterday. <laughs> I can't think why. <laughs> Noisy, it's not right. too noisy because considering it's an overpass it's not as noisy as you'd think well that went all a bit hectic I couldn't film any of that we had a sudden gale blew in and rain and uh, we've been fighting with the wind coming through Camden but we're just coming up to um, King's Cross now so we can stop Henry's driving because I've got a dead man's finger but uh, all looks well What a nice bike
So that's it. We are back on the King's Cross Eco Moorings where we've been for the last five days and a jolly good time we've had too. Caught up with all our London friends and today we're going to wind behind and make our way back up through Camden Lock and work our way down towards Brentford where we're booked out on the at Thames Lock onto the Thames on Wednesday at three o'clock so we've got to make sure we get there on time so we've got to hot foot it a bit today so that's it sliding into London through the back door it's a completely different London from the canal much more chilled and um, a different city altogether anyway we'll see you on the next video thanks for watching please subscribe if you can thanks bye